welcome to Let's Play Decidedly Vanilla. I'm having a little problem here. You see, I, I do a little log out. I, I switch my, my audio to the headphones and the client has to be reset for it to take hold. Because when I had launched the client, I was set to speaker volume. Well, if I want to record game sounds, and hear it myself, I gotta switch to my headphones, so I gotta relaunch the client. But I had saved up, oh, I saved up a bunch of zombies. And when I logged in, it was, it wasn't working. I mean, it, I'll show you, and I hope it, uh, join. Oh man. Oh. Not yet. Dang it. They were all contained. They were all contained. <laughs> and, oh gosh. It's going to be one of those days. One of those nights. Okay. Ooh. What? Oh no, it's a witch. Oh man. Why don't I have an emergency set of armor in these cases? Okay, I'll put on a hat. Bank. Do I have potions? I think I have potions. I made a few. Regeneration. Strength. I mean, I might as well use them now. We'll get a something slightly stronger. Potion of strength. Potion of regeneration. Okay, let's just get out here. Check my 6, check my 40, check my 30, check my 20, check my 75. Oh my gosh. Don't look at the Enderman. You gotta sidestep these skeletons. Yeah, I've got some practice fighting you, jerk. Oh, I hear the witch. Oh, she's got me with slow. She's gonna try to kill me with magic. Stop it. Oh, you didn't make no... I'm dying. Oh gosh, there's two witches. No. Oh, I'm trying to go to the safety of this, and that ain't gonna happen. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, gosh. Open. Open. Ah! Dang it. Okay. We had the right... Oh, we had the right idea. This is entertaining, I think. I didn't even have... Oh, this was not planned, of course. We get a fire resist? What? Strength for eight minutes. Regeneration for two. Pop another sword. <laughs> uh, yeah, wink face. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Uh, helmet. So glad I organized the stuff, huh? But I think we could get to that other place. I wish I do have a back entrance, although I don't know how to get to it. So I was going to start out this episode by saying, this is going to be a clip show. Because what I've done is, oh, you jerks. Where'd you get that door from? Oh, they've finally broken through here. Wait, that doesn't make sense. There's nowhere to break in through here. Well, it's good to see that you guys haven't despawned. Oh my gosh. I want, I'm looking for blocks. That's what I'm looking for. I probably don't have any because I've been doing so well at keeping this place cleaned up. Ah. <sighs> Well, that door was from there, but I don't think the zombies... I don't think they broke it from in here. Do I even have a torch? No. So... Let's silence these. Now, let's... I know this is noisy. I apologize. I'm not even sure if you can really hear me all that well. So we come about here, F3... Uh, on the very top left, go down under Minecraft, CE, Entity, 41. So if I'm reading this right, there's about 41 zombies. I mean, entities could count other things, but that is a satisfying noise. I bet you some of them had my stuff. And then when we're not using this, lava dump mode. You just go straight in there. Did I get any rotten flesh from that? Yeah, no thanks. Okay, let's get equipped with just whatever I can. 
Oh my gosh. So I don't know if I explained it correctly. Let's get that off. So I logged out really briefly just to relaunch the client so I could have my sound working correctly. Oh good, it's day. And I logged back in and there was zombies everywhere. Like somehow they popped out. I don't know. It was weird. I thought for sure if I logged out, they would just despawn. That's what they're supposed to do. I don't know. I, you, you think you know some of the mechanics of how it all works, and then it goes and works a different way. Now, I honestly don't know how much of this you've seen. I'm pretty sure you saw this wall. What do I hear? Oh my gosh, there's a baby somewhere. Oh no, I have this blocked off, but not from a baby. See that? Do I have a pick? Come here, you little sucker. Okay, they must be on the surface. Bunch of little jerks. So I got this little reed farm. I mean, nothing special. Uh, I got these potions going. They're awkward right now. I need... I have watermelons, but I need to take the melon and the gold for the healing potion. And then we'll turn it into uh, level 2. And we'll turn it into a throwing. We got this all worked out. I believe I went over that last episode. I got it timed just so it does a little jig jig. Uh, I used to have this go up and down with the piston. Now I just have it pull it in and out. And just let them fall on straight into the lava. Don't need to worry about lighting this up. They can keep on spawning and they just whoosh, just die. I think it's I think it's better that way. Especially since up above, it's morning. Why are you guys all jerks? Especially since we're going to be able to see them through the up above. So these should be empty, yes, and this is just mostly decorative. I was using these, but I, I'm i not right now, and I'll probably make a different place to do it. Um, this is where I'm going to be keeping all my books, and I do have quite a few books, but most of them aren't anything fabulous. I spent 30 on some books. I got Power 3, uh, Sharpness 3, Bane of Arthropods 4. I think I have, yeah, two of those. Oh, goody. Yay. Thanks. This is a decent one. That's like the only decent one. And it's still not even really, right? But it's, I mean, protection for, that's cool. I'm going to have these be my books. And I'm going to put a frame. And I'm thinking of having some books. I might just sacrifice some of the level ones that aren't that great. Or just the ones that I have a lot of, like power one. Because what I can do is pop them into the I didn't mean to throw that bone on the floor. Something just broke. Oh, his his armor? Really? I can hear his armor noise? That's cool. Uh, so if we go in here and this is called Enchanted Book. Whoops. Naming something. I thought naming something costs five. I guess it costs seven because it's enchanted. So we could go ahead and name this uh, Bow Enchantments. One chest for Bow Enchantments I would think would be enough. So we take this book. And then we take a frame. I'm going to have to borrow one. And get our bone. So it won't go to waste even though I got plenty. And we'll put this in there. And now when you mouse over it, it says bow enchantments. So I think that would be kind of a cool a cool way to label the chest. I'm thinking we could do the same thing with these. Get rid of the signs altogether. And I might even just go ahead and make trap chests and just fill in just to have a row, <laughs> a wall of chests. Then lighting will be a little more difficult, but I could put lights um, on the inside top and on the bottom underneath, like glowstone or something. 
I don't know. We can try switching out one side and seeing how that looks. But I was planning on this being more of a jumpy episode where I'm kind of just showing you what I've done and then all of a sudden I jump to some completely different area and the reason being is because I I have a few episodes recorded this is today let's see is the 11th and I actually have an episode that I released today and I have an episode uh, like a little bonus episode scheduled for Wednesday and well you've already seen it because it's already been out and then there's one coming out on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, like a full episode. And so I'm caught up. So I don't really need to record. This is kind of like bonus recording time. So I figured I could jump in, show a few things that I'm working on, just let the video sit in my hard drive, and then come back and do a little more while I have some extra time. And then, yeah, just kind of jump back and forth. So. It'll be a little jumpy skippy, but you'll get to see more stuff, unless I continue to ramble on forever, like I'm doing now. By the way, I fixed that tree. It was bugging me. I kept looking at it, and there's this big floating tree, and it's just, just staring at me. So I went ahead and reinforced it, and now it's not defying gravity. It's being held there by something, and it looks pretty awesome, I think. What I'm doing here is I need I need some saplings. So I've grown three dark oak trees here. And what I do here is I break this until I can get at least eight saplings. And then I use some hedge clippers, which I don't have on me, of course, to gather the leaves. And I'm using the leaves for this. That's kind of hard to see, I suppose because these trees are in the way. But you can see it a lot better if you look at it from over here. And basically, it was just one of the trees I grew, and I made a large scale. So every block, every one of these, is one of those. A two by two, every one by one becomes a two by two. And all I really need to finish to have it complete is the leaves, and it's actually pretty close to being done, except it's going to take a lot of leaves. Um, yeah, so I need to finish adding a single layer here, and then I need to go uh, four higher, fill in the bo blocks. Uh, I got the pattern drawn around here somewhere. That looks awfully interesting. And here's the view of my roof from up here. It's, it's different. I like it. I've also spent... Uh, a little bit of time in here. We have up here what I put on the sign to have a little skylight. I really like how that looks. I use the cobblestone to kind of dress up the edges. And then we have this little entryway, which comes down to my item storage. It's a little dark at the top, but I don't think it's too bad. And it's just torches in there. Nothing expensive. I kind of obsess over what materials I have where, even when they're hidden in the back, but I think it's fine. At some point I might name these items that are held, because this isn't necessarily cobble, this is cobble-like things, and this isn't exactly cactus dye, it's any dyes. So I might name these so you mouse over, I don't know. We'll experiment with the books, because I definitely need an easy way to label those nicely, and then We'll figure. And I don't got a lot of stuff. I mean, if you look in here, aside from the fact that it's kind of all disorganized. But it does help. It does help to have things organized so you know how much of what you got. Um, but that's all I'm going to record for today. For you, it's all going to be together. So there's not going to be any waiting time. Lucky for you. But I'm going to call that good for this session. So... If I do it right, it's just going to feel like one big long episode. Um, or if I don't sit in the exact same spot with the mic pointed the exact same way, the, the sound might sound a little different, but I'll play with the levels. And if I do my job right, you won't notice the difference. So I will see you in mere moments.
Hello and welcome back. <laughs> I gotta be careful not to give you a full introduction. This is the halfway point. Um, I said it was gonna be a clip show, but I might, I might just record the second half of this all at once. I'm going to get. What sword should I take? Look at these two awesome swords I got. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna save the diamond one for. Uh, we might be fighting the Ender Dragon together as a team. It's going to be pretty awesome, I think. I got a efficiency three. That These aren't anything too fancy. These, these are to be repaired. I'll repair the efficiency two with this, which will jump that up. And uh, I need to repair my, my awesome axe. Let's see. I need some armor, though, if I'm going to walk around. Uh, I just want to say, I have, oh, I've missed you viewers. I have missed you guys. You guys and gals. Ah, I was going to say viewers so that I wouldn't say guys and gals. And so that I wouldn't just say guys. <laughs> but then I went and done derp, derped it up. Said both. Um, I was going to save all this armor, but then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use it. This is going to be my armor. I'm not sure what I want to use for a shop. For my shop. I'm not sure what I want to sell at my shop. Um, because we ha we have we're gonna have a lot of shops. Oh my gosh, it's nighttime. Look at this. Everybody is on here. I don't know who he's talking. Oh, he's talking to Cherry. Cherry is live streaming right now. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if you check out her channel sometime, make sure to. Oh my gosh, there's a witch. Make sure to to follow her to get updated when she next decides to stream obviously if you're hearing about it now i don't have any arrows what am i doing oh i had an arrow in that chest i could have grabbed it yeah make sure to follow her so you can get her alert she's trying it out her laptop isn't as powerful as it could be but it's fun oh man i just i got on to record i didn't want to record i wanted to just kind of watch her it could, it's just i don't know now I might need to try to live stream sometime. My fear is always that I just won't get the viewers. And I guess I guess that doesn't matter. I guess as long as I'm having fun, really it's good practice. Uh, YouTube is all about talking and having conversations with yourself, but making it seem interactive enough <laughs> for everyone else. And just to be entertaining and have fun. And Oh, I really need to fix this up. I want to show you this tree. I might clip that in at the end. Uh, I don't want to kind of stand here and stare at it when it's all dark. Um, yeah, I don't mean to say um so much. I'm kind of excited about a lot of things. <laughs> I've been rebreeding those. Get me some leather. I don't think I showed this. This is my boardroom, which is going to be a project list. And it's kind of all the different things that I would like to work on. So we got the giant tree, and that's going to require some more dark wood, green glass, mossy cobble, uh, other projects that I'm going to want to work on at some time, a gold farm, a farm farm, and an animal farm. Uh, enchanting, I want to get a lot of frames, so I'm going to need to kill some cows. Mushroom pit, a smeltery, a main storage area, which actually that, that place ain't too bad. Uh, a wheat field, which I would need glowstone lily pads and a location. And that's, I just want to make a giant wheat field so that you go out to it and it just, you can see it for miles. Nether hub, cobblestone breaks lava. That's kind of really well done. It's really far off, but I, I need to work on it some more. And the storefront, I really need to get my store going. Just general items that I'm going to need a lot of. And base entrance, which I started to work on a little bit. You guys have seen it. You folks. I watch a lot of other videos, and I they say guys a lot to refer to guys and girls, but I know there's some girl viewers out there. You want to let me know? Tell me in the comment section below. Tell me if you're if other people just call you guys and you're just kind of used to it, or if it's if it's just kind of used as a general term now and it doesn't bother anyone. I'm not a girl, so I don't know. I mean, to me, it seems awkward. Of course, I'm not some young little kid with all the hipster language and knows what what and 
<laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not really old either, but I'm not around a lot of the younger folk. I'm mostly either at work or at home or going in between the two places, honestly. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say yeah a lot because there's so much going on, so I'm distracted. We kind of had a chat going on here. Not much of one, but um, just saying hi to everybody. There's so many people on here. I mean, okay, it's four people. That's not a lot, I know, but that's a lot for us. Um, do I want to go down here for anything? No. I want to I want to go bug Cherry a little bit. I think that'd be fun. She's streaming, and I have no idea what she's saying. Oh, she's right outside. I could have... I could have got to her place a lot easier if I was just going on the overworld. But let's go let's go visit her. And we don't want to get hurt. So I'm gonna pop the swiftness potion. Ah! She's here. Hello. Hello, Chari. No idea what she's saying. Actually, I could turn up her sound. What are you doing? <laughs> hey dude. <laughs> Hello! She can't hear me though. Oh, he drank one of the speed potions. <laughs> Hello. I guess I know who's been. Watch this. I want to. Nope. <laughs> um, he obviously went shopping at my. Uh... Yes, I did. Lose it. The pop machine. Did you use? Yep. The pop machine. Oh, that's so weird. On the screen, I'm seeing her type it. I'm gonna find out if he used the pop machine. But it's. Yep. Yay! Already typed. Yay! That's hilarious. <laughs> he paid incorrectly. Uh, he paid incorrectly. He paid incorrect. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm spelling horribly, guys. <laughs> guys, gals, folks, He's viewers. Be, what? <laughs> okay, you let me. <laughs> I should have. Put the iron uh, in the hopper. Put the. Should have put the iron in the hopper. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, now she'll have a little bit, a little bit of her stream recorded. She's not recording it because uh, it's just it's too much for a poor little computer. We should have a drive to get her a decent computer, at least one <laughs> that can do the basic stuff, at least. Uh, return ticket. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Doot. No, that's... It rejected it. Cherry, it didn't want it. Doot. Hello? Talking to you. I can't pick it up now. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I just did. I see her on my screen, but she's... I see her on her stream, but she's not on my screen. I can't pick it up. That's weird. Oh, sh she's over here. Why are they just floating in the inventory? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, don't know. All right. Well, this was a very derpy second half of the video, <laughs> but uh, I still want to show you all a few things back over at my base. So I'm gonna cut away, uh, maybe hang out with Cherry a little bit, and figure out why the iron ingots are just sitting there, and uh, yeah. <laughs> all right real quick before we go back to the base i just stopped by the shop i wanted to run some information past you all see what you think give me your opinions uh i think i think the items whatever items i choose to represent these chests i'm going to rename so just like the item i showed you over at my enchantment storage when you mouse over that that'll say what this is I'm also going to name the chest, though, just like I have here, my dang gear. 
I'm not sure if I'll use the word gear. I'll have to take the longest word I have in mind and put that on a chest and see how well it fits across the top. But the names that I have for these are mundane, ordinary, exceptional, and superior. I'm still not quite sure between exceptional and superior. They both sound kind of like they're top tier. I also, there's some uh, role-playing games that call it masterwork. Like this is masterwork gear, so that'd be the top. Or this could simply be some word that represents eh, eh, ooh, huh? So basically three tiers and then the fourth one would be for something strange. The thing is, I'm not a map maker on the server. I'm a player. I'm a survivor. So I can't exactly just go and make you know, weird items like I would on one of my maps. Um, but we might get something that could fit there. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. We could also be naming the stuff that we put in here, but that could get expensive. And my spawner, uh, grinder is not quite as efficient as Avi's. Check out Avi's channel. He apparently found an area with two dungeons in close proximity and he has a double zombie grinder. Ugh. So that's the other concern I have for this shop is I was going to be selling used mob gear and he was selling clothing. So I'm thinking he's going to be selling good stuff like all fully repaired and nice and good enchantments. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I'll just sell the derpy stuff so my stuff can kind of be cheaper. But then uh, almost everybody on here has their own little mob grinder. <laughs> I want to sell something that can make me money, and I want something that can make me gold. That's kind of why I'm like, yeah, I'll just wear some of my armor. Who cares? Plus, this is the fully repaired stuff, so we don't want to sell it when it's fully repaired. At least that, not if we're going to keep with the original concept. But we might go something else. And I got this display, but what would I put on here? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. But I would love for you all to think about it and let me know as well what you think of it. Just a few more quick things I want to get on camera. <laughs> uh, eight, 19 entities, 20. I just need five levels. I think this will give me five levels. I'm not sure. Come on. No whammy, no whammy, no... Oh my gosh, really? Really? Oh, that's a bummer. I'm going to let this build up a little more. It's day. Let's go. I want to go show you... I want to show you the tree. I'm almost done. From down here... From down here, I'm done. Because you can't, you can't tell the difference. Let me grab some wood. Wood. No, not wood. Dirt. Dirt and a shovel. So I got a basic shovel, basic shovel. Come over here. I have currently, I wanna say 14 saplings of these guys. Enough to make a decent amount of trees and break them and most often get a return that's slightly greater. But I've been wanting the leaves so I haven't been able to break them all. Why does it, why do I see blue? Is that water dripping there? No, it's just my eyes or my screen being goofy. Okay. Not that, this, there we go. And there it is. It still doesn't quite look right because it's got this here, that extra block that I used to climb onto the top. And of course that, but But it's coming along. It really is. And then this. Ooh, why is that cracked open? That seems dangerous. This, I think I'm just going to finish off with the mossy cobble. And then we're going to try some green glass. I don't know if I want to do ribbons or some kind of spiral. Spirals don't typically look that good. I'll build a couple things in creative to find out. We'll see. I'll find something that looks good. I'll find something that I think looks good, and then you all can tell me if you think it looks good or not. Uh, how are we doing here? 
we're gonna need to build it up a little more I wasn't even gonna do this but I noticed how close I was to level 30 so yeah <laughs> okay and check this out server mates especially zombie grinder 3000 now it's not obvious but I I'm officially declaring that this is open for public use when you are not here, please make sure to put the system into lava dump mode, which is this lever up. That's going to let them go into the lava, not build up. In case anyone's in this area, we're not going to lag out the server any, just in case, just in case. And we have here, splash potion of healing, double strength. So you get that, and you come as close as you can. You just splash it at their feet. You kill them, and you heal yourself, and everybody's happy. And this is a suggested donation of one gold bar. And all you gotta do is you gotta put that in there. And as soon as you close it, your donation will be accepted. You go back in there and it's it's gone. Right now it's slightly less because it dumps out slowly. Doot 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 through the hopper down below. And then it's gone. And it's beautiful. And I don't have an actual easy way to get to it. I just have to dig through the hole, I guess, to get to it. How are we on entity count? Eh, not quite there. Let's let it run a little bit longer. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30, level 30. Lava dump mode. Goodbye, you stupid zombies. I wish we could be friends, but you are all jerks. And we're already down in power mode. I'm going to put 30 levels on this book. Minecraft? Minecraft. My dear game, you do know I'm recording, right? This is the end of my episode. Are you going to give me something good? For my viewers. My viewers want something good. Something good. Smite 4. Not terrible. Not great. I think you already have a smart Smite 4 book. <sighs> In with the... <laughs> Into the chest you go. Stay tuned for next episode. We're gonna we'll do something different. I, I'm not gonna say we're gonna do something different because I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but we will definitely do something different. Maybe go to a different area. Uh, maybe we'll bounce back and forth between something at the base and something somewhere else. That seems to be a winning formula for a lot of people. Uh, don't want to say anything else. Well, just this. This has been B-Ran. I will see you next video. Have a great day.